Hi, my name is Matthew Kluntz, creator of Sprite Something, an iOS pixel drawing, animation, and tile map tool. This video is going to be a walkthrough of some of the basic drawing tools. Uh, we'll start by choosing a color. You can choose a color from the palette image just by touching, dragging to choose a color. There are multiple palettes that you can select through to choose. Uh, below that you can see the old color compared to the new selected color. You can also change the color using the sliders at the bottom. And you can switch between HSB and RGB color modes. On the opposite side from the tools there is a panel with all of your recently used colors that you can quickly switch between. We'll start with the pencil tool. You can use the pencil tool to touch and drag to draw. You can change the opacity with the slider at the top. You can fine tune with the plus and minus buttons next to the slider. And draw. No. Next is the eraser tool. Use the eraser tool to delete out from the image. Uh, the eraser tool also has its own opacity slider. You can erase more or less of what you're touching. Uh, after that we've got the line tool. With the line tool touch somewhere to place the beginning of the line and drag your finger away to make a straight line between the two points. When you let go, then the line will be drawn into the image and stay, like so. Next is the Fill tool. With the Fill tool, you can choose a color to fill in a continuous area. Uh, another thing you can do with the Fill tool is touch and drag your finger to preview what the fill will look like. When you let go, the fill stays. Uh, similar to the fill tool is the magic eraser tool. Magic eraser will delete a continuous area. And same way as the fill tool, you can touch and drag to preview what the magic eraser will do. Next is the select tool. With the select tool, you can drag a rectangle. When you let go, it asks you what you would like to do with the selected pixels. You can copy or cut, saving them to the clipboard, or just delete out the pixels. We'll choose copy. Uh, if you choose copy or cut, it automatically selects the stamp tool, which will then let you paste in more copies of the selected pixels. Just like the fill tool, you can touch and drag to move your pixels around to preview where it's going to end. When you let go, they stay. There's a couple more options with the stamp tool. You can rotate it by 90 degree increments. You can also flip the copied pixels when you paste them. Uh, a quick hint with that, if you want to mirror it vertically, turn the flip on and rotate it 180 degrees to do a mirror. Another cool thing you can do with the select and stamp tools is make yourself a pattern like a dithering pattern and select it, copy it, you can quickly paste in your pattern across the screen. And then the last tool I want to show you is the Move tool, which you can touch and drag on the canvas to move around the entire canvas. If your pixels cross, they will wrap around to the other side of the screen. And that's all I have for this video for Sprite Something. If you have any questions, please contact me via Twitter at MattFox12. Thanks.